So you still think EVs take forever to charge. Watch this video. I juiced up my Hyundai at an Alpatronic hypercharger from 46 to 81 percent in just nine minutes. Faster than you can pump gas and regret that gas station burrito. Welcome to another EV Bunk Blasters where we're hard blasting the myth that EVs are slow to charge. Stick around, you won't believe how easy and fast it is to blast this load of bunk. Welcome back to Jim's EV Adventures and another episode of Bunk Blasters, where we blast myths about electric vehicles with, shall we say, cold, hard facts. Today's bunk, EVs take forever to charge. You know the vibe. People who think you're stuck at a charger for hours sipping overpriced coffee while gas cars zip in and out in just minutes. Yeah, that's so 2019. We're going to bust this myth wide open with charging tech that's faster than my last attempt at a TikTok dance. <laughs> Not good. Plus, we will do more on that real world charging session that'll make gas pump lovers think twice about slinging bunk in our direction. First, let's talk fast charging because EVs aren't sipping electrons like your grandma's dial up internet. Modern chargers are beasts. Take the Alpatronic Hypercharger, the HYC400, like the one I used on the Hyundai recently over in Tampa. Get this, it took my EV from 46 to 81%, that's a 35% increase, and over 110 miles of range in just nine minutes. Yeah, you, you heard that right. I barely had time to whip out my phone and record the session, and that was pretty scary. The charger provides enough juice to add probably 150 to 200 miles in a 15 to 20 minute time period. Compare that to the 5 to 10 minutes at the gas pump and it's not like you're losing your entire afternoon. More importantly, you're not standing there snorting fumes that are carcinogenic. Now are you? Plus, chargers like these are popping up everywhere. Electrify America, ChargePoint, Tesla Superchargers, Iona, Walmart, you name it. They're putting these things in faster than you can say, I don't want an EV. In 2025, as of today, the US has over 72,000 public DC fast charging stations and tons of private chargers too, not to mention all the level two chargers that are innumerable. And Europe has an even denser installation base than we have here in the States. So it's not like you're not gonna find a charger. Unless you're on a road trip to the middle of nowhere, sorry Uncle Bob's farm, the stuck forever excuse is just as Sherman Potter used to say. Horse hockey. Now, here's the part that gas car fans just don't get. Most EV charging doesn't happen on the road. It happens at home while you're binge watching your favorite show. You just plug your car in, wait for that beep or the other notification, and you go up about your business. It's just like Ron Popeil used to say about his oven. You set it and forget it. Level two home chargers like this one, think seven to 11 kilowatts, can fully charge your EV overnight easily. My Bolt or Ionic 5, three to five hours per night is all it takes. And it costs less than $3.50 to bring it back up to where it needs to be. That's cheaper than my coffee addiction. The best thing about this, no driving to a gas station, no spilling fuel on your shoes, no fumes, no muss, no fuss, and no weird gas station hot dog temptation. You know what I'm talking about. So this EVs take too long nonsense, bunk blasted. Okay, now let's, let's do a fair fight. 
gasoline refueling versus EV charging. Gas stations take, what, five, ten minutes? But add driving there, sometimes waiting for a pump, like at a Sam's Club or Costco, because you want to save a nickel a gallon, going in and paying cash if you're so inclined, and then driving back or diverting back to where you were headed to begin with. So we'll call it 15 minutes or so. I'm being very generous there. Fast charging an EV for 20 minutes on a road trip will get you upwards of 200 miles. And while you're charging, you're going to grab a snack or stretch, maybe even taking a meal. My HYC 400 session, nine minutes for 35% charge. That's a whole lot faster than in my last DMV visit. I don't know about you. But here's the kicker. Home charging means zero trips to refuel and no standing there. So if you're spending an extra 10 to 15 minutes a week at the gas station, that's almost nine hours a year that are wasted. Talk about being conditioned like one of Pavlov's dogs. Say what you want. I've played the gas station game. Those who object to charging have never owned or operated an EV. So what they have to say does not matter. EVs, you plug in at home, you sip some coffee, you watch a video, and you're done. So really, who's saving time here? Boom. So you're still not impressed. The future's laughing at this myth. Charging networks are growing faster than my inbox after a viral video. Well, I ain't had one of those yet, so maybe soon. By 2030, we're looking at 500 kilowatt chargers that could cut charging time to 10 minutes or less. And even faster charging batteries are coming too, so that may even be five minutes to a full charge. That's faster than you can say, I love gas fumes. And there will be plenty of these chargers, over 180,000 stalls across the nation by 2030. Companies like CATL, Tesla, QuantumScape are already testing the charging technology and the battery technology to make this happen. So if you're still whining about slow charging, you're stuck in the slow lane of 2010. EVs are speeding past that bunk at mock speed. So there you have it. EVs do not take too long to charge. Home charging is a breeze. Fast chargers like the Alpatronic HYC 400 are crazy quick, adding over 110 miles to my Hyundai in nine minutes. And the future's only gonna get faster. So the next time someone tells you that EVs are too slow to charge, tell them to watch EV Bunk Blasters. Subscribe, share, and comment, and thanks for stopping by and I will see you out there or somewhere along the route from point A to point B and keep blasting that bunk. See you all real soon.